Nollywood actor K.O.K. Kanayo Kanayo begs Buhari to release his son, Namdi Kano. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Kano is facing charges bordering on treasonable felonies situated against him in response to years of the campaign of or for the Republic of Biafra through IPOP. Well, this is no longer news and facts. I don't think it is It is not news at all that um, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra is actually in detention. He is in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS. He has been there since, I think, June. Yeah. Since uh, his abduction. Permit me to use that word. The governments have been refreshing, you know... in. <laughs> They have been refreshing the count. They, they started with how many uh, charges count. They refreshed it to how many? 15. Or they added more 15. I can't really say. But at the end of the day, we are still pleading and requesting that the government to the part of peace. Learn from what is happening to Ukraine and Russia. Make peace when there is still time. Nobody is threatening anything, but it would be in the best interest of all if they told the path of dialogue. The news in detail. Nollywood veteran KOK has made an appeal to President Muhammad Buhari concerning the release of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Namde Kano. Kano is facing charges brought in on treasonable felony instituted against him in response to years of a campaign for the Republic of Biafra through IPOB. He has remained in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, since he was arrested and extradited to Nigeria. In July 2021, IPOB ordered a seat at home every Monday in the southeast to protest against Kanu's detention until he is released. The prescribed separatist group also declared that the region will be locked down any day Kanu is to appear in court. Although IPOB later withdrew the order, economic activities are still grounded in the southeast on Mondays and any other day Kanu is to appear, appear in court. Joining the fray and assisted by the message on Wednesday, Kanayo pleaded with Buhari to order the release of Kanu from detention. He noted that due to the state at home, commercial and social activities have been grounded in the affected communities leading to a breakdown of economic growth. In his appeal addressed to the president, Kanayo noted that he was not speaking on behalf of his fans, but that his request was personal, was his personal 60th birthday appeal. He said, Sir, on this occasion of my 60th birthday, I want to make an appeal to you as a son and as a patriotic citizen whose industry contributes meaningfully to the nation's GDP. I am deeply pained by the loss of lives wanton killings and general insecurity in the southeastern region of Nigeria. We are the father of the nation with numerous sons and daughters, including Mazin Namde Kano. Sir, the box stopped at your table. I know and appreciate that in Namde Kano's case is before the court and usually do not like to interfere with court cases. But at this stage of heightened tension, you are the president with executive powers. My appeal, sir, please release Mazin Namde Kano. It is my sister's birthday appeal. Thank you, sir. <sighs> hey, we are hoping that this one will get to him. <laughs> I have to give a sigh of like, okay, at least. See, eh? I normally tell the indigenous people of Biafra that the Indaboski way that they are using. When I say Indaboski, I mean they're using harsh words, you know. You come and say, if this is not done, they're giving the ultimatum to do this. My brothers and sisters in Nigeria, please, we all know that the federal government, you cannot threaten them. These people, you can't threaten them. Unfortunately, we don't even have what they call the rule of law in Nigeria. We don't. We don't have what they call the rule of law. We don't even have what they call separation of powers. We don't even have what they call federal character. A lot of things. Our democracy is not complete. For that reason. And again, this same um, iPod, this so, um, iPod, the, the iPod body, they should know that it is still this Indaboski style that caused the previous Nigerian civil war. 
At, at least we all know that one. That part of history, you cannot wipe it away. You cannot hide it. It is in the Boski way because why? You did not come to hear me. We, don't, we did not come to discuss and have an understanding of each other's opinion. Let's tell the part of dialogue. Because even if they release this man, they will say, yes, release him and dialogue with these people. Not with them alone, but the whole Nigerians. I tell you, there are many people who are suffering in as much as these people are suffering. But it is just that they are the ones coming out to say, yes, yes, believe you me, some communities, they do. In the north, they do. But I don't know, there's one song that Fela normally sang, Suffering and Smiling. Some people are doing Suffering and Smiling, and some people are saying, you know what, we are not going to follow you. We cannot be suffering and smiling. This country is ours. And it is true. Everybody deserves an equal and fair right. The right to live. The right to good, good um, you know, the good things of life. The right to, you know, to, 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 how am I going to put it? What is good for the good should be good for the Ganda. That is it. I just hope that the federal, well, currently I don't think the presidency is in Nigeria. But I just hope, ah, sincerely, eh? I just remember something. I'm going to drift a little. So it is said that, about, um, sorry, Buhari actually traveled out of the country without delegating powers to the vice president. And they said he did that because the last time he delegated power, he did, he did something. And that something he did, Nigerians praised him for it. Which means it was good now. Have been? But to him, it was not good. Now they said Onku does not delegate powers to this man anymore. If not, I would have seen if he has delegated power to this man. Ha! Oh my goodness. Maybe before he comes back, our uncle, the VP, you know, our pastor, <laughs> our VP that is a pastor would have, you know what, let's even call for dialogue. Maybe that is what would have happened. And I would be so happy. Like, I would be super happy. At least let's avert the killings. If you're not even going to do it because, oh, uh, yeah, people will think uh, we are weak. Please do it. The killings are becoming too much. If care is not taken, the southeastern region will soon be. It is towing the pump path. Bruno State is towing. Bruno State, hardly any week passes by without you hearing senseless killings here and there. People being abducted. Please, the federal government should give peace a chance. I hope too. They should. Everybody tow the path of peace. Leave in Daboski. Hmm. You are cited and recognized. With this alone, you have paid your dues and remembered and honored when time comes. What you did is what IPOB and MK expected from you, Gat. The celebrities from the Igbo extraction and Biafra in general, the government will never grant a request, but try and identify with your people for championing the good cause. Once more, you are, you be man, confirm one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the noon. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the video.